Hello ladies and gentlemen, so many in here and today we're going to be testing out the new silo hatch from the HP Nuclear Tech mod. Let's get into it, shall we? So I made a little um, missile silo here. Completed with most of the anemones that any person would need. <laughs> we got a Geiger counter, very good. We have filters, hazmat kits, weapons, all that good stuff. Oh, we're not here for that today, are we? Oh, we also have rockets. Oh, I already had a remote in here. I couldn't remember if I made a remote or not. Over here we have our viewing room, so we can actually see if there's a missile in there, and if you can actually watch it take off. I don't feel like there'd be a good idea, though. I don't know how powerful the glass is in that. We have airlocks with our player decontaminators. We have our missile here. We have a self-charging battery for this. So you could launch multiple missiles if you wanted to. Around here somewhere we have actually the thing that launches the missile hidden. Yeah, it's right behind this wall here we have this contraption here which delays it just enough for the missile to get off the ground. Or for the door to open before the missile runs into it. Which is actually very important. Anyway, we're going to go outside and give you a little test of it. Or show it off, I guess. Bar. Yep. Ugh, look at that. It's still barely like... I accidentally clicked it too. That's funny. Boom. Oh, that is spicy. I love that. I hate how that lags, though. Stop lagging, please, for the love of God. I need to upgrade my computer. Beautiful. Look at that. That is a lot of damage. And now you can close it again, too. Which is pretty nice. Pretty nice, indeed. I could have it on separate circuits, so that would be an interesting idea. To have it on different remotes. So, like, I, you know... I open it and then I launch it. That would be a good idea. But, hey. We're gonna go with the micro-nuclear missile. Um... Yeah, because I want to try that one. I do love the new designs here. One thing that would be a great item or addition to the Edge from Nuclear Tech mod would be like actual like ventilation systems for like bunkers and stuff. That would be pretty epic. Like if there was like if there was a pipe that right for like so you could like use the pipes right, and you could use those pipes to go into like a little machine. That has like a filter in it, like a HEPA filter or whatever kind of filters like nuclear bunkers and shit use, right? I don't know if my audio is still recording or not, so I might be going on this tangent for no reason. But like, if you could just like do that, that'd be pretty cool. And it would like filter out the radiation and stuff. Or like, if there was like a gas attack or something on your base, then that would like prevent you from getting sick. Just an idea. Also, like, bioweapons would be a pretty cool addition to the HP nuclear, nuclear tech mod, too. Uh, what else? Oh, yes, the ability to dye this would be pretty nice. Like, if I could actually, like, match this with, like... Like, let's say if I clicked a, like, a block, when it, it would change to that block color. That would be pretty nice. I, that would be complicated, though, I guess. All right, anyway, we're going to go ahead and launch this again. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. I really hope the audio is recording on this. Oh my god. That is that is beautiful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a that's a micro one. That's crazy. Uh hmm. yeah, let's close this. <laughs> wow, that is that's pretty big. I don't know what I was expecting from the micro one, but it wasn't that. The cool thing is the uh, cloud, the sky actually changes when you're inside the grater. Which is pretty nice. This is all classified as an outer crater, so that's why it's not getting darker. But if it was a actual big explosion, then that they would actually change. I do like that feature of the HP Nuclear Tech mod. That the fact the sky changes whenever you go into a crater. It's like going into the glowing sea. 
But anyway, that's enough out of me, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.